Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today I'm going to show you again how to use our one layer charcoal method on the Sportsman's Grill to cook up some great chicken thighs. Hey, and we got some brand new seasoning to try out, so y'all stay tuned. So we just got in this uh, four pack of seasonings from um, Suchis Spices. These are actually made in India um, and surprisingly none of them are Indian uh, blends. We got a Big Texas, we got Exotic Island Spice Rub, we got a Cajun Spice Rub and a Sweet Smoky Spice Rub. So we have four chicken thighs to go on the Sportsman's Grill and we're going to use one on each one of those thighs and we're going to give them a little taste test see if we like them if we do uh, you'll see that here too all right so we have our uh, charcoal chimney going there about half full this is my small one and we're going to set up our one layer charcoal system it's not really a system it's a method okay um, where you just want the entire bottom of the Lodge Sportsman's Grill covered with one layer of charcoals. Okay, so we might have to adjust there. Uh, and if you want to know how many coals that is, it's it's 30. Okay, it's right at 30 coals. I think we're getting pretty close there. Some of these are not. We're a little. Oh man, yeah, sucker's hot already. Some of these are not quite as hot as others, but that's that's pretty close. About half the small chimney of charcoal on there. So just one layer. You don't want to mount it up. Just one layer, continuous layer, all the way across the bottom of the Sportsman's Grill. So go ahead and put the uh, grill up here. We got the uh, damper door. I'm going to close off about halfway, and we're just going to let that get warmed up. And then we're going to go ahead and go over and season our chicken and get it ready. So we have four chicken thighs here and we have four different spices over here in the box. So we're going to give each one of them a different spice blend. This one is the sweet, spicy, and smoky one. Now this hand I'm going to handle the chicken and my clean hand over here is going to handle the spices. Alright, so we got that one going there. Oh, don't touch. Alright, flip that one back over. So hopefully, uh, I'll use my palm here, we'll open the next one up. This one's the Cajun one. Alright, I did sample this one a little bit earlier today, and uh, that sucker's spicy, okay? So, but if you guys like spicy, you're definitely gonna like that one. And it's got some uh, pretty, pretty uh, rough ground herbs in it too, which I really kind of like that. But I'm go ahead and give that one a little sprinkle. Put that one aside. This we got some uh, big Texas. You can see it's got a lot of red pepper in it. I'm sure uh, Chef Johnny out there at Texas Style Barbecue Cuisine probably think this is just like, all right, now it's just that's just pretty tame. But we got yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give it a good sprinkle. We want to be able to taste that spice on it. We can let you know what it what it tastes like. And the last one is uh, exotic. Island Spice Rub. Probably should open these up before I started this process. Alright. So, let's give that last one. And these are very distinct um, spices, so I'm sure that we're not going to have any problem telling which one was which at the end of this. Alright. And um, quality of the product right now, this this apparently doesn't have any like that anti-caking agent in it because I did notice that 
it's a little caked up in jars that's fine I don't need a whole lot of extra chemicals in my spice blend and I'd rather really for me other than putting all the chemicals in there to keep it from caking I'd rather just you know grind it up in my fingers and do without all the extra stuff so there they go we're gonna let them sit there for a minute while the sports and skill grill is getting ready and then we'll throw them up on the grill So here we go, uh, one layer, one layer charcoal right on the bottom grate of the Sportsman's Grill. We brought the grill over to give it about maybe five minutes, all right? So we're going to go ahead and lay our uh, breast down at a 45 degree angle to the grates. Which here in the middle, it really doesn't matter because you got that uh, lodge logo there. So and we're going to want to rotate these around because, you know, we got limited real estate here on the grill. Actually, I want to try moving those down just a bit before they start getting going just to make this one's kind of big down here at the end. So we want to watch for flare-ups. We got the bottom fire door just uh, cracked just a little bit. Actually, for to start here we might just go ahead and close it all the way I just did and we don't want it to get too hot and burn up the chicken that's that's the trick here on a sportsman's grill you know it's, it's a hot and fast kind of deal Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention earlier was we took all the extra fat and extra skin off the back sides of these thighs because if, if you don't do that, there's going to be so much oil dripping down on that fire, you're going to have no chance of cooking them without burning them. So let's go ahead, it's been just a couple minutes, let's turn them. You see that skin is looking pretty perfect right now. And what we're going to have to do, it's going to be a little bit, a little bit hotter in the middle, obviously, than it's going to be on the ends. But they're coming right up, you know, and we want them to come right up. We're going to turn them over. And here what we're relying on is this one layer charcoal system, or method here, is going to die down as we go. Okay? We got the damper door closed, the uh, coal doors closed, and this is some, uh, this is Royal Oak charcoal here too which is known to be pretty hot and fast but we're going to have to keep shuffling it around and we will to keep them going nice and slow without overcooking the outside just a couple minutes in and what I want to start doing now is you know taking some from the outside take the ones from the outside put them on the inside take the inside ones and put them on the outside okay and we're gonna to have to keep doing this along and along and you know we got this one here it seems to be quite a bit bigger and you're gonna have that same problem when you buy these um, that you know some are going to be bigger than any others So I don't know if you guys can see that, but we got this like one little area in the bottom there where it's flaring. So what I'm going to do is just go in there and like stir the coals around a little bit. And uh, hopefully that will go out. But if not, we'll just have to keep, uh, keep
keep moving the moving the chicken. That seemed to work pretty good. I just uh, moved the coal around a little bit and uh, that flare up went down. Alright, so I don't know what it's doing there now, but we're going to have to get on it. I do have the stamper door completely closed off. So let me go grab this and uh, that don't that don't calm down in a second. Eh, it just did. Okay, false alarm, but you cannot take your eye off of this, all right? This is something that's going to, if you want to try to cook chicken on a sportsman's grill, which is a basically a hot and fast item, then uh, don't take your eyeball off of it. You're going to have to tend it the whole time. So yeah, the fire started getting a little aggressive. So what I did, if you're going to find, if you practice with this sportsman's grill a little bit, you're going to find that down at the very ends is a little bit cooler than it is in the middle. All right, it started flaring up on me a bit. You see it got a little bit dark, which is okay. A little bit dark on the skin side. I went back to the meat side and moved them down to the ends. So whatever you got to do, to even if you had to pull them off. Okay, got my pan standing over here to the side. So even if I had to pull them off of there for a minute, that's what you're gonna have to do to make this successful. So what we're gonna do now is now that we got them browned like we want them, they're on this one layer charcoal system, I'm gonna take my pan that I brought them out here on, and I'm gonna invert it right on top. That's a lightweight pan. It's actually an air bake, and that's gonna capture this heat coming up from underneath, and we'll just keep an eye on it, but it's going to help to cook them a lot faster than it would just right on the grill. So let's go ahead and check, check some temperatures right by the bone. Oh, those are way done. Okay. Um, actually, probably more done than I really want them. So, yeah, I was on the phone. Um, and uh, Mrs. Backwoods is out of town. She's up north with you guys, up that way. So go ahead and take these off. Man, putting that pan on top of them really sped up that cooking process really quick. And you know, after the, those first uh, little flare ups we had, you put that pan upside down on top of them. And it really it restricts a little bit of the airflow, and it really calms all that down. It holds the heat in and speeds up the process. So those are looking awesome. So if you follow this little method we've kind of came up with the one layer of charcoal and the sportsman's grill, you can cook almost anything. If you want to see a bunch more videos where we use that method, even cook a baby back ribs, go check out the channel page. I'm going to leave you a link right down in the description box right down there. And you know, it it's a great portable thing. You could take you can take it to hunting camp. You can take it I'm anywhere. Give this one a try right here, and we'll try to identify what it is. Hmm. Hmm. That's really good, but I don't know which one that was. I think that was a sweet and smoky one. Pretty, pretty, pretty tame. All right, so it's shout out time, and today's shout out goes to Becky Dupree. She's been a long time subscriber to Backwoods Gourmet Channel and does a lot of commenting over here. She has just joined at the sous chef level, so she gets a shout out. So, and thanks, Becky, for joining. If uh, you want to join you can, in your own Android or PC, you can see the little join button down below. Just click on there. If you're on Apple, you're not going to have a join button. 
okay so you have to open the description box and right up there under the, the after the description of the video I'm gonna leave you a, a direct link to the join page because for some reason on Apple the join button doesn't work 